Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to make this animated gradient in After Effects. Also, if you want to learn how to make all these videos here in these examples and push your skills to the next level, I launched my Patreon page where I uploaded a bunch of these advanced tutorials. If you want to check them out, you can click the link in the description and access Patreon premium content, where you can access a bunch of high quality images and tutorials. Click on the new composition. I gotta go with 1080p 1920 by 1080. Read it as gradient. Click OK. Create a new solid. Right click new solid. Read it as gradient. Click OK. Go to the effects and presets. Type in gradient. And let's drag the four color gradient on the artboard. I gotta recolor these. You can see in the left here the colors. Click on it and change the colors. From here, I'm gonna activate the stopwatch of the point one, two, three, and four. And I'm gonna drag these dots out of the artboard like that. I'm gonna go at the first second and I'm gonna bring them in somewhere on the center so they get near each other. So this is the animation. I'm gonna click on the gradient, press the letter U to highlight the keyframes. I'm gonna select all the keyframes, press Ctrl C. I'm gonna go to the second second, press Ctrl V. I'm gonna select all, press Ctrl C. Go to the fourth second, Ctrl V. And I'm gonna pull the time ruler to the eighth second. I'm gonna collapse it. I'm gonna right click, create a new adjustment layer. I'm gonna right click, rename FX. From here, we're going to go to the effects and presets, type in turbulent displacement and drag and drop on the effect. I'm going to go to the amount. I'm going to add 150 and I'm going to add to the size 400. I'm going to press and hold alt and click on the evolution stopwatch here like that. So it's going to show up the code here. I'm going to type in time asterisk 200. I'm also going to change the turbulent to twist. We got some holes on it, but don't worry about it. I'm going to go to the effects and presets, type in motion tile, and drag and drop the motion tile above the turbulence displacement right here. We're going to increase the output width and height to 350 and 350. And I also going to check the mirror edges. There you go. So this should be good. Perfect. It looks something like this. You also can adjust the settings in order to find the best balance. And mainly this was it. Thanks for watching.